These are the plaintiffs, Tony and Kathy. Tony says he was walking Kathy's dog, and when he passed by the defendant's house, her rather large Alaskan Malamute charged towards them and attacked Kathy's dog, Pepper. Kathy's dog needed nine stitches to repair the damage the defendant's dog caused. She's a terrible person who never had the decency to even respond to their request for vet payment, and they're suing her here and now for the $1,364.44 they are most definitely owed. This is the defendant, Deborah Peltz. She says it was the plaintiff's dog that snapped at her dog first, and that caused the fight to ensue. Her dog, Diesel, reacted as dogs will. He defended himself, and she owes nothing because dogs will be dogs. She's accused of failing to control her big old dog. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff's dog passed the defendant's house and the defendant's Alaskan Malamute viciously attacked. But the defendant says the plaintiff's dog snapped first. It's the case of your Malamute is Mui Mole. <laughs> Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, man. Okay, Kathy and Tony, you've asked to be referred to only, oh, we got a dog by your first names. You are suing Deborah Peltz for $1,364.44 in damages that you say you incurred as a result of a dog bite. Um, temp your dog is on a leash, I presume? Yes. Okay, just bring your dog out so I can see your dog. If you're going to bring the dog, I might as well see the dog. Hi. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, mix. All right. Okay, All right. go ahead. Thanks. So what happened? Um, it was after uh, dinner. I was taking the dog for a walk. Kathy had been away. I was watching her for a few days. Okay. And um, is it technically Kathy's dog? Yeah, it's Kathy's dog. Do I you was... both live? T do you live together? No. Okay. No. So the dog you were. Um, yeah, I, taking... I was watching the dog for a few days. She was up visiting her new grandson. Okay. And um, anyway, I walked down Ryerson, which is near my apartment where I lived at the time. And uh, when I approached. Um, Park Street, which is where the um, defendant uh, lives, I turned the corner and there was a car parked on the side of the road. And I was walking, I was going to go around it, but there was a car coming down the street. And um, so I, I waited behind that car, and as the car went by the, behind the street, I could see the defendants talking to each other. She was on the porch and he was on the lawn. And uh, the next thing I know, their dog came out, out of the back door, which was next to her. And, and what kind of dog was that? It. What kind of dog is your dog? Malmute Shepherd mix. Okay. Yeah. Big dog, big dog. And uh, anyway, she, um, the dog, just walked slowly across the street, and I'm standing there with Pepper, and I'm, as it got closer, I was trying to move her away, and then, as soon as they got close, that Malmute started biting her, and that's when I tried to push it away with my leg, and. Um, then Pepper, because she was so much smaller, had to get up to defend herself. And when she did, the Malmute How did she bit get her in the up stomach. To defend herself? Just put her paws up, uh, put okay. her paws up on the Malmute. And um, when she did that, the Malmute bent down and bit her in the stomach. And um, when they really were starting to bite each other, I pulled Pepper, and she came off her out of her uh, collar. And um, Pepper did. Pepper did, and she ran uh, about ten feet away. And then the defendant. Um, got control of her dog, and at the whole time, she's saying, no, my dog never gets loose, it never gets off the leash, and so forth. But in the meantime, this confrontation was occurring, and they had time to grab it, but they didn't until after. What were they doing while you're struggling with the dog? What are the two of them I think, doing? Right I think there, they were said. astonished at what was happening. I think okay. more or less they were yeah, astonished but, at what well, was happening. How going did on. the dog get, so there's no, it's not a fenced in yard? No. No, okay. Just so the, the dog, dog comes the out. Dog, the dog. The door must have been ajar. Okay. And the dog came out and just walked across the street and basically attacked Pepper. <coughs> okay. And, and, uh, and I was I was yelling, "Get a control of your dog." Okay. And, and when um, uh, when you said you said you kicked the dog, did you actually kick the dog? Did you lift your leg? What'd you do? I I was holding Pepper like this with the leash, and as the dog was starting to bite her, I I, I kicked her with kicked her. And then uh, did she or he say anything? Um, after I got Pepper, after she came off the collar, and I was walking away, I said, I guess dogs will just be dogs, because it didn't seem like anybody was hurt. And uh, he said, if you ever kick my dog again, I'll kick your ass. Okay. And, and, and he, had he not said that, I probably would have knocked on their door the next day to tell them that 
you know, there was an injury caused. But um, when I went to file the next day, the police department, I said, you know, I described where I was and who, who was involved. And the cop said, he said, they know him and he runs hot. Okay. Were you there when it happened? Yes, I was. What happened? Okay. Just as uh, Tony described, that's the front of the house, not okay, the Okay, no, no, don't there's talk to him directly. Okay. Talk to me. Um, now, we find that that doesn't do anything to calm people down. I understand. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, there are some discrepancies in what okay. happened. Um, I was looking for Matt because he was out spraying weeds. Checked in the back. We do have a fenced backyard. You were looking for who? Matt. Oh, okay. Okay. And I went to look in the front, and sure enough, I went out my front door, and I was on the porch, okay, and Matt was on the corner because we live on the corner. And then normally, if our dog's out, he's out with us. If we're in, he's in with us. I left the door open, and then evidently Diesel followed me into the house, not realizing, and then he went out and walked across the wait, street. Wait, wait, Diesel followed you out of the house? Is that what you meant to say? No, into the house because I was looking for Matt. I was out in the back. And okay. I went to the front. Oh, okay. So Diesel followed you through the house, and then what? Out right. the front door? Well, I didn't realize. Did your dog get out? Yes. Okay. How'd your dog get out? Okay. Because the door because was open, I left and the, the dog door got out. open. Okay. And he saw Tony and this dog walking around the corner, and he walked across the street. Uh, my dog is socialized. Okay. He goes to doggy daycare. He he has no signs of aggression, and I have proof of that. What happened was he walked over because, oh, new dog in the neighborhood, because he knows Ma. And they were sniffing each other, okay? I'm sure you're who you say you are, but regulations require I sniff you first. <laughs> That's, you know, I mean, dogs are dogs. Exactly. It right? is what it is. Dogs are dogs. Right. They're going to do what they do. See, However, the law doesn't punish dogs for being dogs. However, it was Tony's actions because dogs feed off your energy. Whether I believe it's that's positive, true. If they negative, see you're scared, calm, it, they exactly. get. They think there's a reason to be scared. Exactly. Right. But here's the thing. Well, the law doesn't punish dogs for being dogs or humans for being scared. The law punishes when you don't follow the rules. When you say. Normally, the dog is outside with us when we're outside, and inside, you don't have a fenced-in yard. Yes, we do, in the back. This was in the front oh, in the yard. the back. All right, well, then don't leave the door open, because your My dog mistake. was unle... Right, and that's why we're here. You know right. we're not here. My mistake. You're not going to get the death penalty. No. You know that the only thing these people are asking is that you rectify the mistake. Now, we'll talk about damages, but do you think for one second that I'm going to dissect the behavior of the dogs to figure out who was the aggressor? No, but I will. If you, yeah, you allow can do me. it, but not on my nickel. Okay. See, because I got a case to run. Right. So here's how it works. I want to be heard. What we put? Yeah, but I'm not going to listen to you flap your gums about stuff that doesn't matter. So, if I have a dog and it gets out of the house and bites your dog, and after you kick my dog away, am I responsible for your vet bills? I think so, because you left the door open. But what if it's just a simple accident that that's why? I it depends on whether or not the dog was provoked. So it depends on whether well, or not... So, uh, the, the, in this case, the plaintiff did push or even kick the dog away because the dog's coming at her. That seems like the dog would be provoked then. If, she, if the dog was kicked away, then it was provoked. And that really? Because if you see a dog running at your dog, you wouldn't try to stop the dog? Well, it might just be uh, running over to say hello oh, in a friendly yeah. manner. Well, you are really pro-Malamute, aren't you? <laughs> okay, going inside the courtroom. The law doesn't care who was the aggressor. I'm going to assume that your dog got loose, came over, and said, Hi, I'm Diesel, and I'd like to play, and that that dog bit the hell out of your dog. I'll assume it however you want. It makes no difference. It makes no difference because, you see, we expect animals to be animals. They're supposed to be animals. They have, like, protected behavior. They have, they feed off, like you said, you know, it's not his dog. Maybe he wasn't quite as comfortable. You know, whatever it is, they feed off that. That's absolutely true. And that is why our laws say that your dog must be on a leash and you need to be more careful. So what the law punishes is your behavior, not the dog's behavior. All right, let's talk about the injury a second. Okay, how many stitches did your dog end up getting the next day? Nine, I believe. Okay. Nine and st there were staples. Staples. Staples? staples? Ugh. Oh, yeah, I can see the staples. All right. Um, now let's talk about what you're suing for, because I saw that your vet bills are $598.22, but what you're suing for is over double that. So start talking. Our time. Did you have to take a day off to take care of the dog? To take care? No. I had to, uh, I'd lost sleep the night 
I know. She wasn't had there. Okay, I'm going to need you to stop because you have the absolute wrong attitude for someone whose dog ended up putting nine stitches in the belly of another dog. I'm trying to be patient with you, but you're making it very difficult. So unless I direct a question to you, you do not need to start screaming in a courtroom. Yes, ma'am. Okay, go ahead. Well, 18 hours total. Of what? Traveling to the vet, waiting. Okay, so time plus, and what else? Time plus mileage. I use the IRS figures okay. for 2017. Okay. That was just came to 3531. Okay. The vet bills and uh -huh. postage. And postage. For the, the How two much is certified post? return receipt requested letters? Okay. $13. And were your letters six. ignored? Yes. Or did, were they picked up? Like, in other words, did they come no, back? No, they, they were picked up. They were picked up. So you got the letters, and in the letters, do you have the letters with you? Yes, I do. May I see them? Sure. May, and Please. I need the vet bills. These two. Okay, I read them. They're just, they're just asking for the vet bills. And then did you ignore these letters where they're asking just for the vet bills? Yes, I did. Okay. I'm going to uh, issue an order in favor of the plaintiffs because that's what the law requires in a case where your dog okay. gets out. Can I'm I just say one last thing? Yes. Please? Yes. Okay. When they went to the vet the first time, the instructions were that they had the collar on. Monitor the sutures several times a day. Well, it was a week later that the dog got an infection, so that tells me that either the collar came off, okay, and they weren't monitoring it properly. So I shouldn't be responsible for the $139 Can I ask you a question? How long have that. you had pets? Ten years. Okay. Have you ever had the dog with the collar? The lampshade? Yes, I have. Right. And, it and keeps has them the from dog not ever had an infection after a certain... Have you ever had a dog who's had an infection afterwards? No. Because yeah, I didn't I have. remove that collar. I have. And you know what? Because we don't know what they were doing during okay. that week. Now I'm just going to need you to press the off button, honestly. Everything is someone else's fault except for yours. No, when I'm it's not. you, it's an accident. When it's anyone else, it's, it's a vicious, you know. All right, stop. $598.22. If you had responded to them, that's all this would be. But now it's become the gas mileage, the money's for the certified letter, and your court costs. Verdict for the plaintiffs. So the plaintiff does prevail. The plaintiff's going to get the vet bills back and some other assorted costs. I think you learned something about how a case like this is handled in court. Uh, yes, I have. However, um, if this gentleman knew anything about dog handling, okay, he never would have kicked my dog, okay? He was the aggressor, and which caused my dog to react. And it's, that's it. It is what it is. You were, okay? dead, you were dead in the water because you're you didn't have control of your dog. That's because he evidently got out the front door and he never does. It's your fault, right? Your fault. What can I tell you? That's the way it is. It is what it is. It's a shame you didn't pay the vet bill, you know? You, know? you really should have been more, more kind to that. Well, he shouldn't have kicked my dog either. Okay. But he... <laughs> All right. Tony and Kathy are on their way out of the courtroom now. She's not going to understand this at all. I can't get through to her, I don't think. How do you feel? Um, it's pretty black and white. It is. In the eyes of the law, it's black and white. You're right. How's the dog doing? Cute She's puppy. Doing great. Cute little I was little a little puppy. worried Hi there. that she would be different, but her personality is still the same. She's yeah. still very All sweet. Right. Well, look, I'm glad she's doing better. Well, listen, congratulations. I hope this doesn't happen again. Thank you very much. Thank okay? You. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye, Pepper. <laughs> he's a cute pup. Harvey, interesting case. What do you think? Okay, I mean, Doug, the key is control. You have to control your dog so it doesn't attack. And the real issue here is dog got out of the house.